so I recently shot this McLaren 570S uh, and did a little review on it and I want to show you guys really quickly why using a polarizing filter is super important when shooting cars. It's also really important to use a tripod so that you can pull off shots like this. So here's uh, two shots that I did yesterday at Fort Mason Center in San Francisco. So as you can see here with the polarizing filter, the front windshield uh, you can see right through it, which is really nice. So you don't have a huge reflection of the clouds, but then on the door and the carbon fiber here, you can see a lot of reflections coming in from this fence and a little bit from the sky. It looks a little bit dirty. So if you look at the next image, you can see that there's very few reflections now in the carbon fiber and on the green paint here, but there's now this huge reflection on the front hood and the windshield. And so basically what you do is you put a polarizer filter on your lens and I have another video that shows what it does and you twist it and leave it on a tripod. So in this case, I twisted it so that the reflections on the door and the driver's side of the car uh, were eliminated. So I took that shot, I left the uh, camera on a tripod and then I twisted the polarizing filter until the reflection moved from the front hood and the windshield and you can see that it makes a huge difference in the image to not have the reflection. So if I only had one image, I would definitely use this one here that doesn't have the reflection on the windshield. But since I have two, what I can do is put them together in Photoshop. So I've already done the post work here. And if you take a look, I have this original layer here, which is just the front windshield polarized, right? And then I used a layer mask in Photoshop and brushed in the reflection free doors. And you can also see that the polarizing filter changed the lifts back here a little bit because there was water on them and the polarizer does change reflective surfaces. So you can see like right here, there's a huge difference in how dirty the lifts look. And then when I turn on the polarizer, they're very clean. So just a quick tip, uh, if you want a more in-depth tutorial on how to do this, let me know in the comments and I'll be sure to produce one at some point. But for now, just keep in mind that a polarizing filter is totally worth it. You don't have to get the most expensive one. I use a uh, $20 filter that I got on Amazon, the Amazon Basics one, uh, and it works pretty well. This was shot on my Nikon D800 with a 50 millimeter f1.4 G, and this was at f2.8. So as you can see, putting these two shots together makes for a very clean looking shot. So if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.